What's up, Sam? Tired, hungover, E3 is hitting you bad. Two nights in a row, we said you were going a bit early, and it doesn't happen. Now we're on the way to PC Game Show. Got my confetti in my hands, everybody. Nice. We're going to the PC Game Show, it should be very good. Epic, Epic Games, Games is bad. I wonder if we're going to see some more exclusives and some booing. I think we're going to see some actual booing. The number one reason we are at this show today is to see if the crowd boos loudly when Tim Sweeney arrives. This is open to the public, yeah. so we're really hoping for some big boos. Uh, if there's enough boos, the video goes out. That's so right. If there's not enough there's boos, then you're not going to see this. there's no video. This never happened. That's okay? right. Exactly right. Uh, we're nearly there, people. Let's do it. Right, here we are. We're about to step into the lair of Tim Sweeney, the headquarters of Epic Games Bad. So look, we're back from the Epic Games show. We were expecting a lot of booing and a lot of cringe, and I'm sorry to say there wasn't really much of both. But what there was, was actually quite a few interesting looking games that yeah. I would like to play personally. And I was kind of impressed with the show. Look, I thought all in all I was expecting a very kind of B-grade experience, uh, you know... B-grade. Yeah, and I was actually pleasantly surprised because once I walked out, I was like, you know what, this is exactly what E3 needs. A place that is not affiliated with a certain publisher or a console. It's like all, you know, smaller games and bigger games that don't belong on a certain kind of showcase all have an actual place to go. Yeah, it's sure. actually essential and no other place in E3 actually does that. Can you think of any, any anything else that everything that's random gets to come together and is like, hey, let's just show what we've got, you know? No? <laughs> I cannot. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so look, first big game that we saw, first big game that we saw was the gameplay reveal of Vampire Bloodlines. Now, the screen inside the actual thing was Horrendous. so bad. It was like watching a 240p version of Game of Thrones, you know, like uh, the uh, Battle of the Night with the, 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 the Night King. Yeah, the Winterfell one. Winterfell, like it was like that. You couldn't see shit, it was all pixelated. But I'm sure the gameplay looked kind of cool for those that could see it. Yeah. I mean, it's Vampire Bloodline stuff, you know. Like, I mean, there's a lot of money that uh, Epic Games was throwing, but not enough money to put an actual good screen in there, people. It's it was true, actually horrendous. True. But look, anyway, the gameplay looks kind of, you know, the same of what you did expect, really, from a vampire game doesn't really didn't really show much yet but at least we saw something we saw what it looks like I like the atmosphere I like the tone that's being set yeah the guy up on stage looked really really nervous you remember him the first guy he's like kind of tall with gray hair and yes he was very he nervous was oh, you know what it's hard I, it'd be, it'd be no I, I totally Don't worry. get it you know Ralph puts on a front imagine that's him right. on stage you'd be like ah, <laughs> I do my game I do reviews <laughs> 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 <sighs> <laughs> so then, um, so the first big, I think, disappointment of the show was Chivalry 2. Now, Chivalry... You thought that was disappointing? Only because it's an oh. Epic's game exclusive, oh, right? okay. So don't get me sure, wrong. Sure, sure. There's actually, this is complicated for Chivalry, because Chivalry was the only game in town doing that Chivalry thing until recently Mordhau... Chivalry like, dead, everybody. <laughs> until recently Mordhau released, and now everyone's loving Mordhau. I haven't actually played it yet. I've bought it, downloaded it, but haven't booted it up. But it looks fun as fuck, right? Now Chivalry 2 comes along, it looks kind of the same as what Mordhau is already doing, except it's now an Epic Game Store exclusive. I was getting, so... um, I was very excited from that. I thought it looked very polished, very exciting, a lot of character to it. I was excited A lot of people it. were pumped until they saw the Epic Games exclusive, and then yeah. they're like, Wee! And it wasn't the only one to be exclusive. There are more Epic we'll exclusives come coming up. Just stick around for the layman Epic exclusive After reveal. After 10.01. Um, this Midnight Ghost Hunt game, was pretty much the coolest that looking thing the show I saw me. at the show. Yeah. Like the trailer, just 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 look at ten seconds of gameplay here. I got a big surprise for you. Big surprise for you. As soon as I watched this, I was like, I want to fucking play this game immediately. I was yeah. like, give me the playable unit. I want to do it. Do yeah, you know what I mean? I think there's a lot of ways that you can play with it. Like, it can be fun with mates. It can be fun maybe even by yourself. Like, there's a big, uh, un kind of 
it's untouched. Like, have you ever sure. really experienced a game that you're, you're, you're running around yep. as furniture, for God's sake? Well, they know... had that Prey type on uh, Hunter. Yeah, Call where of they Duty had also that... did like a mod or a game mode where you could you could kind of hide on the map as like a crate or some shit and they go find it. Other games have done similar things or tried to do it. It's, yeah, it's not an original concept, but it seems like the a first time a game is making mode. it around that. Mm. And it just had this cool sort of like tension and visual style and it just looked super fun. You yeah. know what I mean? So I think that that stole a lot of attention at this show yeah. and it very much deserved to. Mm. A Age of Wonders Planetfall. Now these two guys came out and talked about this game. One of them was speaking so fast that I thought I was like, my stream was like catching up. But then I remember yeah. I was watching it live and I was like, no, that's not what's happening. <laughs> yeah. uh, they were very excited, very passionate. The game looks kind of cool. Um, don't really know what else to say except it's out soon. Yeah. And I don't think it's an Epic Games exclusive, that one. I didn't note that down as Epic exclusive, mm, but we'll see. Mm, we'll see. Uh, there was Remnant from the Ashes, which we saw gameplay of, and it looked really awesome. Mm. I'll admit, I actually don't know anything about this game. I've completely forgotten what it looks like now. Yeah, uh, there was like 30 titles, which, I mean, they showed 60 titles in Xbox, and I've forgotten most of them. <laughs> Halo this, something. Yeah, Halo something. Yeah, you know. But uh, look, I you know hey, this this Remnant game it just looks really incredible in terms of visual design and it's uh, multiplayer co-op and they they reference like Dark Souls and Bloodborne in it so I don't know look, as I said I know nothing about it all I know is that after having seen that gameplay and seen that trailer I'm personally much more interested in this game and or well, interested at all because I don't really know about it so I will definitely be checking it out some more. Uh, Shenmue, everybody, everyone remembers Shenmue from the Dreamcast days. I think that was those the first, were the days. The first Shenmue was on Dreamcast and uh, it's kind of been buried for like. What, 10 years? Like 15 years? No, like 15 years. years, yeah. No one's ever seen it again. So I think that... Yeah, I was surprised to see the actual art style. It looked like it was a PlayStation 2 game. I think this was the biggest disappointment for a lot of people. Not for me personally, okay? I'll explain. I love Shenmue 1 and 2. They're absolutely brilliant. They were very uh, ahead of their time back then. Now they're very old school and they feel very yeah, outdated. Yeah. He's, it seems like he's kept that old school feeling. You still have terrible voice acting. You still yeah. have bad lip sync. And you still no, have that very... Wasn't, that, was, that, that was overdubbing Japanese. But that's what I'm saying. Like, or you, Chinese. You could have done... Either one. Japanese. Japanese. But I actually think it's set in China. Oh, is it? Ah, yeah, well, ah, so, there we go, there you go. people. But, so, um, uh, but no, look, that, but I think he's keeping that kind of old school look for two reasons. One, because he's limited on money. Yep. And two, because it actually makes it feel like Shenmue 3 yeah, as yeah. opposed to like a, a Shenmue reboot. reboot. You yeah, know, it like, I, feels very much like a continuation. I get that. I mean, that artistic choice can work sometimes, but I don't know if it's working in this one. Not, not, not yet, at least. We uh, haven't uh, seen enough of it. You know? I'm still not convinced that Shenmue will play well today because... 15 years ago, it was really like very advanced, very breathtaking ahead of its time. Yeah. Now it's really, really not. And uh, it doesn't really look like he's advancing the gameplay formula at all. So I wonder how this will go. And also the fact that it's an Epic Games exclusive. Yeah. When it was backed by people, because it's a Kickstarter idea, mm. to see it now, I think, and we have to confirm this, but because it's all still happening, but I'm pretty sure it's not on Steam now, or at least yeah. you can view it, but you can't pre-order it there. Mm. It's on Epic Games Store. They advertise it as an Epic Games game, and they also included it in the Epic Games Store trailer. Thing, yeah. So I'm pretty sure, like 99% sure, it's an Epic Games exclusive. Yeah. A lot of people are really pissed off about that. Yeah. And the last thing we'll say on this game, because it is a pretty iconic game, you're damned if you do, and you're damned if you don't with this one. Like if you change it too much, everyone's like, oh my god, that's not Shenmue. If you try and do old school Shenmue, a lot of people are like, well, hang that's on, old a school. Second, it's like a PS2 game. game. Exactly. There was a really awesome moment coming back to the Epic Games trailer where it was being played and then like they the trailer finished and then like I was like listening in the crowd and everyone was kind of just like huh. <laughs> yeah so that was a very cringe moment I was very glad that we could be there to experience that thank you very much and also when auto chess was announced to be an epic game they're like it's coming yes. to the epic game store and yeah, everyone was yeah. like are you ready to laugh? Well, that poor dog. Um, Borderlands 3, we also saw some more of. What did you think of that, Sam? I don't really remember anything extra that we saw. To be well, honest. We saw we saw new gameplay. There wasn't really much announced in terms no, of like new I think it's smoke and mirrors stuff. there. Like everything smoke that, and mirrors. No, you know how they release a new trailer, but like it's there's no new information. You know that that's what they did with the game that we saw yesterday. What was that one again? Uh, oh, uh, Fallen Order. Fallen Order did another trailer, but it was like reused stuff or just sure. stuff that does not give you more information. From what I saw from the new Borderlands trailer, I was like, I didn't learn anything more. You know, they kind of came out on stage, they spoke about it a bit, but like all in all, I don't think. A lot of people would have walked away and gone, oh, okay, cool, I understand this game so much more now. And then they finished up with Baldur's Gate 3, which personally I was very excited for in terms of hopefully we get something juicy, mm. but... 
Not so much. Uh, I was like, yeah, that was another time. I was like, uh, the whole thing was that. Everyone was waited two hours. Like, okay, what the fuck are they going to talk about with Baldur's Gate? A lot of people on stream would have seen that at the beginning. Yeah. Like, oh, baby, we're seeing some more gameplay or something. They came out on stage and they just said, we're only going to talk about what you saw in the trailer and nothing more. There's nothing, there's nothing to talk about. We didn't know anything. And he says, oh, you start in, you know, in the city that the trailer's in. Or just outside Whoop the city. Whoop-de-doo, you know? Like, come on. We're, everyone's but, really wanting to know what this game is. And there wasn't anything. I mean, look, here's the thing, right? This is a true story, by the way. Yesterday, I was in the line for the bathroom and there was a Larian Studios developer behind me. So I turned around to him and I'm like, hey dude, I just want to let you know, like, I'm like, look, I know this isn't really the place for it, but I just want to say, really glad you guys are doing this. Good luck, take your time, make it good. And he says, don't worry, that's the plan, right? That guy got up on stage today, turns out he's the CEO of Larian Studios. I didn't even know that when I was ah, speaking to him, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, he was saying that on start stage as well. He's like, we are going to take our time. And this is going to be a big game, and it's got a lot of expectations I, I, on it. I, 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 I'm guessing these guys are still very early in development, and so I don't mind that we didn't see much. I would have liked to have, don't get me wrong, I but I'm fine that they didn't show us much. I would have been fine if they don't want to show us anymore, but then don't show something at the beginning of a two-hour program and then get up and not say anything. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I, I do hear that as well. I do hear that. Either way, Baldur's Gate 3, man, I'm just so unbelievably excited for that. That's going to take over my life yeah, when it comes out. Yeah. It's probably not going to be before 2021, I'd say. Say it, I guess. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't think it'd be 2022. Yeah. So I yeah. think 2021 is when we, can, when we can expect it. But look, that was the Epic Games Show. Um, I was and thoroughly it surprised, of... and I thought it was a very necessary little nook in the E3 world. It has to be there every year, and it's getting bigger and bigger now. I should call it the Epic Games Show. Then it wasn't. It was the PC Games Show, run by PC yeah. Gamer, the, the the website, yeah. and sponsored by Epic Games. It's Game the Epic Store. Game Show now. So it's Come basically on. the Epic Games. It's Game the show. Epic Games Show. More and more exclusives for them will be released and revealed there. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it doesn't matter all in all. Uh, it was a good event. Bad, it was a good PC event. PC gaming show, good. Yeah, it was. it really and was. I was just glad that you got so many smaller titles that wouldn't otherwise get a, a spotlight. They got it there. That's why it it's was, so important. Yeah, yeah, it was professionally run. There was much less cringe than usual. Uh, and that's a few the show. mic things here and there, like turn your mic off and shit yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. You heard that. Todd Howard. Well, it was pretty smooth. <laughs> if you bring him back, I'm fucking leaving. <laughs> yeah, I think mean, that's yeah. fake, by the way. Anyway, let's get out of here. That's it. We're going to talk about uh, Ubisoft next. Yep. So stick around for the next video. We'll see you guys very soon.